Hello and welcome back to Jonah's Boxing Blog with myself, Jonah, and our partner, Eddie. Say hello, Ed. Hello, guys. Good to be back. And today we're going to be filming two local legends. If you have a quick look on the screen, for to introduce them for the camera. Yes, hello, Jason Nottingale and uh, Peter Nottingale, yes. And today we're going to be going through some of the stories. Both these lads grew up in Tipton, as most of you know. And um, what's a talent? What, what's a bloody talent? Uh, yeah. Both boxers at Wednesday Boxing Gym, Phil? Yes, yes, we did. Awesome yeah. boxers. Okay, so we roughly what age uh, Jay started, being uh, the youngest? Um, Jason, uh, he, 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 he looked like actually coming after Peter. Um, he coming first. Uh, he was about age of 17 or 18, he was Peter. And Jason coming about the age of 10. 10? Yeah. And, uh, Right lads, both of these have got two interesting uh, stories to tell. One only for amateur, the other one for amateur and went pro. So we've got a right bloody list of fights to go through here. We've got some awesome fight footage and we've got some awesome pictures and programs. And we've got a few stories about Jace and we've got some of his, uh, loads of his programs to be fair. And we've got uh, his England letters and a few things we're going to read out for you. And we're going to make this uh, a nice little blog and a nice little dedication on their behalf. So, in tonight's interview, we're going to be starting with Pete Winky, uh, Ninety Girl first. We just want to tell you about a few of his uh, fight records. First, we'll start off with his, uh, when he was amateur. He came into Wensbury Gym about age 17, was it, Phil? Yes, it was, mate. Yeah, age 17, Peter did. Do you remember him walking in? Yeah, yeah, I do. He was, uh, yeah, you know, because uh, we were the 80s and whatever, um, we was all like, Air messy, like, I mean, like, like air hanging over our ears, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and yeah, because he was from over I mean, he just come in exactly the same as us. You know what I mean? And he was like, uh, he was a proper, awesome lad. He was like, proper, proper nice lad. You remember what year that would have been? That would have been, uh, got to have been, I was there in 86. It's got to have been 87 and Peter coming to the gym. It's got to have been 87 because, like, I think I was only, only about 12 when I was coming to the gym, Peter. Uh, I think I'd actually been there like about a year or so. Do you remember seeing him training for the first time when he first came in? And... Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I remember watching him. Um, um, yeah, we've been the first how many days he was in there because uh, we was always uh, in the ring, like all the time, like with each other. And I put him in. Uh, yeah, with Jason Lester, who was uh, Andrew Lester's brother. And uh, you know I mean, he was like he, he, he you know, like he was okay. You mean like he was, uh, but you know, like he won. He, he mean like he wasn't on Andrew's level. Yes. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm honest, and uh, and because so like, he was only knew he was like Peter Nigel, like, well, Jason Lester must have thought, you know, I'll, you know, I'll have a good with him here. So uh, yeah, like he's put it on Peter, a couple of punches, and then and, and, and boom, massive bomb. Put, put Jason Lester on his arse, I don't know where he was, and and, 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 and like I'm on the rope sale, and, uh, and you know, like I'm like a soldier ring, I'm watching, and I'm just I, I just had to giggle to myself. So I thought, yeah, go on, mate, that's a nice punch that is. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, we've uh, like, like, say like a pizza. <clears throat> he just like, actually took to like, the game like we all did. I mean, he just took to like like um, he was like I was about Queen's wee boxer. He, he, I mean, he was like a queen. Fighter. Yeah, yeah, he was like yeah, he's like he was upright, you know, always in his perfect. Uh, I mean, like, like he, he had to be for his feet and that pizza. He was really like a dedicated boxer, mate. Very, very dedicated boxer. We've actually got some good footage of Pete, which we'll show you a bit later on in the interview. But uh, yeah, good lad. I've met him a few times. And uh, yeah, I've watched most of his boxing fights now, obviously, because I've been putting them on the YouTube channel. And yeah, I like his style. Very good. Yeah, but he was... Um, uh, Peter come in, uh, I think he was uh, uh, like 17, coming 18 or something like that. And uh, it wasn't too long before I had him... Did he, he, like, did he, he take to the amateur fights? Was he straight in? He, yeah, he loved it, Pete. And he had a bottle. He had a lot of bottles. Uh, how many amateur fights did he have now? Well, um, uh, I mean, like, down here, that he had 130 plus amateur fights. fights. Uh, and, um, I would say he, he's got to smash the good, really, over half a chunk of that. I, uh, I talked to Pete, and like, he, he, you know, he was being humble. And and I just you mean I mean and like um he says probably just over half so but I reckon yeah we we mean like being the reason Pete he's just being humble really so it probably would have been eighty out of them so eighty out of I mean hundred thirty points 
very like, pretty good gimmicks, especially like we we like half of the boxes do like gimmicks with. I know he fought some tough kids in the end today. Yes, he tough kids. Mm, a couple of tough ones. He yeah, we have a lot of nice. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, yes, he fought. Uh, 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 what's Michael Jones, and, and tough kid. also Mark Santini. Very tough kid. Very tough kid, and the, the, the most one <coughs> uh, as you'll all know is going to Julia Witter. Uh, well, ended up being a uh, uh, world champion, was it? Santini was actually the ABA champion, if I do believe. Yes, he was. Yeah. And I think we got a little bit of footage to that, so we'll just put that on now for you folks, and we'll talk to you back in a second. Right, folks, you just seen that bit of uh, footage there with Santini, and what did you think of that? Tough fighter. Tough very yeah, tough yes, team. awesome. And awesome little box like Santini's, mate. Uh, been the welterweight really? champion as well, Pete stepping in there as well to fight him, and uh, going all the way to the end as well. Very, very, very tough fight. And yes, that actually shows, I'm on the boxer. Do you mean, like, Jenny, he actually was like Peter. Do you mean, like, he was actually in the ring? We've yes, somebody who ended up being a world champion. You know what I mean? So, you know, he mixed it up with the best. 
Yeah, and uh, some of the other top players on your mobile, uh, some of the top um, players you mentioned there? Uh, well, Junior Wheater was another one. Uh, yeah. Junior Wheater was uh, another one to be on a champion. Yeah, he was a WBC, wasn't he? Uh, Wheater. Uh, Welsh weight champion, wasn't he? So, a lot of people don't realise, some of the, a lot of all you guys in Wensbury, you fought a lot of uh, tough kids who actually went on to win world actually, titles, yeah. British titles, it, European titles. Exactly, exactly. And uh, ended up being like champions. I've only just obviously meeting quite a few people doing the blog with Phil, but yeah, what a journey we were on anyway. And it's amazing. Just like all these young lads, including uh, Peter, have to travel all up and down the country to go and fight these people. And uh, we've been looking on some of the, uh, the gyms where he's fought and some of the places where he's gone. And he's actually done the same as Phil. You could be fighting up Manchester, you could be down bloody London, you could be in Peterborough, you could be in Leicester. He actually, when he turned pro, he, he went all over the UK, he even fought in Ireland, and we'll get to that a bit later on in the blog. He yeah. fought some tough kids. And we got, to be fair, because Pete fought a lot on Sky Sports, Euro Sports, and whatever channel they could basically get on back then, we've got a lot of footage to put onto this blog and all clips of all different fights. Even some of the videos that we haven't got on our blog, to be fair, when you uh, nick them back off YouTube, we'll yeah. put them all on our channel as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. By well, the time we finished, we're going to have such a boxing record, and Pete's going to have quite a few on there, to be fair. We can get as many as we can. If anybody's got any amateur boxing of Pete or Jace, we can get our hands on, and you want to send them in to us, we can convert video, DVD, anything. So anything you got on Pete Nightingale, Jace Nightingale, please send it over to us if you can, or lend it us for a few days. Then we get it back to you in exactly the same condition as it left you. And, uh, yeah, as we are saying, Pete met a lot of lads, obviously, you know. He's well-loved in the boxing community around the black country and Wensbury. Uh, he's on here with John Green and Andy Andy Oldie. Oldie. Uh, doing, his uh, brother Jason. Yeah, his brother Jason. And, uh, yeah, the old family, good boxing pedigree. They've got a couple of their relations fighting now, Reese Nightingales on the circuit. So we're wishing him luck as well. We hope he has the same success as, like, Jason Pete. But yeah, uh, we've got uh, some good stuff coming up on this one. So we're going to go over to now. Uh, we're going to have a quick flick through uh, some of JC's stuff. And then we're going to come back on to you with Pete's uh, pro debut. And go through Pete's boxing record, put some of his clips on. And give you all a uh, all good viewing, folks. See you in a second. <laughs> Well, this will be a good fight. McGee, a very exciting fight. A big puncher. Second out. Round one. First round, Eamon McGee in the white shorts. Peter Nightingale in the pink and blue stripes. Good right hook to start it from McGee. Nightingale actually boxed last Tuesday at the York Hall in Bethel Green, London, and was outpointed by Paul Knight, who was a good prospect. That's not a bad performance. Being stopped by one, uh, in one by Georgie Smith. But that's no disgrace to Georgie Smith, very good. And Georgie Smith, a great fighter, like a uh, Anytime we've commented on this, and Jerry Smith's face, he, he, he's done a great job. He's done more, more, more than, than what's asked of him. Like, he is an up and coming uh, fighter to, to look out for. So is McGee. Hello, McGee, or sorry, Elon McGee is an up and coming fighter to look out for. Also, this guy is on his way up and he's improving and getting better with every fight. This guy can punch. He's a good puncher with the other hand, but favours his, his right hand, obviously, because he's a sick club. <laughs> Well, he had two fights in America last month, and that's the place to learn. He had a one-round knockout against Troy Townsend at the beginning of March, and then at the end of last month, he just got outpointed by a very good Jamaican Teddy Reed. Oh, good shot there. Yeah. That's a good left hand and a good right hit there to the body. Two beautiful punches. Thank you. 
he, he, he's learning, you can see now, you can see that the, 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 he was learning the whole, the whole way through his career. But he was coming in and running in at the start of his career, but it's only to be expected, but he was very, very, very amateurish. Now he's getting more leg pro. He's hitting his punches, stepping back, throwing punches, and he can even see that lateral movement now that he's going to take him, take him into his, into his style. It's a, it's, it's a slow process, but... He's definitely getting there. Well, there's no doubt McGee on this form looks better than four nights. Just imagine he'll give four nights. A fair fight losing on points last Tuesday. McGee well on top here. It's funny how some amateurs really adapt to the, the, the professional game very quickly. They adapt and, and change styles very quickly. McGee was a great amateur, world, world civil medalist in the junior games, but he seems to have adopted a very good professional style. You have to adapt very quickly, uh, with your Rhodes, as you know yourself, you don't make it as a pro. If, if, if you keep your own, just your own amateur traits, well, uh, you'll fight that way and you'll not improve. If we look at Paul Ireland earlier on, in the first live fight tonight, we saw a very good amateur who hadn't really adapted to the professional game. Eamon McGee looks like he has done. See, this is a, we're having a, a good uppercut cut, cut here from the game. What, he's, he's sort of holding on, I think, you know, which... Uh, <laughs> that was easy for me to say there, by the way, folks. <laughs> sort of made a wee bit of a mess of that now, but sure, we're, we're not all perfect. But anyway, what I wanted to say was, he was holding and hitting. They cut a long story short. <laughs> Second touch, right Jay. Second round. Just to remind you, McGee in the white shorts, I think girl in the blue and pink stripes. Oh, nice for your right hand there, beautiful. <laughs> well, apart from Noel, of course, McGee, Eamon, that is, have a, another older brother who is a good champion. And Terry McGee was the All Ireland White like, Middleweight champion. Good shot again from Nightingale. That's twice McGee's been caught with that right hook. Yes, just a wee bit lax. Just starts to keep his eye on the guy. One thing you don't do, don't take your eye off him and don't get lax. Stay on top at all times. You stand back and let a guy dictate to you. And he starts to rule the wrist then and he can do what he wants. And you have to fall in the line. Whereas when you dictate the pace, you can do what you want. I see it down there also. There's a lot more South Boys in Ireland than in Britain. I don't know why that is, but there seems to be a lot more leading with the right I, I, I know but that's because there's more right handed people over here. <laughs> well, left handed actually, but they are. So, yes, you're right, man. That's the thing again. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting confused, Andy. <laughs> The head shots didn't have to throw the, the right hook to the body. This is what McGee has to do. He has to keep pressurizing this guy because, as I have said, if you let this guy pressurize you, he can dictate everything that's going on. If you keep going forward, you're not the middle of the strike. Some good shots there. 
You look at where they're stride, they don't know what to do. They start to panic. Actually took those punches pretty well and he's been beaten clearly during this round. He's still up to everything that he has to offer. A bit of trouble. Ronnie Wilson was called over to the corner of Peter Nightingale. I don't know if they're retiring there, man. Well, what, what do you think about McGee there? He was actually very accurate. Took a couple of uh, hard punches, but was very aggressive and quite accurate with the hooks. One hand, they have that around there as uh, Nedding Gill was walking back to the corner. He looked very detected, he started to make faces at the corner, or to make signs that he wasn't happy, he, he wasn't going. He, McGee gets him on the ropes, this, this is all where it started here. He, McGee started to have some real good success with the right hands, good uppercuts, good body shots, good head shots. That was a lovely right hook into the body, they're beautiful. These body shots take their toll and they're all very, very, very sore. They all hurt really badly. They started to look very, very detected and they're coming back to the corner and then about around and I thought myself, bang, this guy's this guy's looking for a trap door now. Here's the MC Harry McGavick. Ladies and gentlemen, Nightingale retired at the end of round two with the cut eye, leaving the winner of the contest, the Terminator, Eamon McGee. Well, folks, you just watched Eamon McGee fight. Don't forget to comment below what you thought about that. Uh, what did your thoughts on the fight for? Eamon McGee, quite a tough lad. Yeah, well, I thought it was like a tough, uh, yeah, yeah, for like, uh, our peak, really. Because he was um, in the ring, yeah, with somebody who's like, what, he's won the uh, W and BU title. Yeah, Commonwealth. Uh, uh, yeah, Commonwealth. He boxed champion. Him, uh, yeah, uh, Irish champion. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, man, it's a big ask, isn't it? But, do you mean, it's like, we like our Peter. He'd actually give him with anybody, wouldn't he? Because, yeah, that's, 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 that's you know what I mean? So, and he, he has to go all the way to Ulster for that point as well, so it was quite a... Yeah. Going all the way to Ireland to travel as well. Going well, like it's way to... in his back garden. And it's a champion, really. Like, uh, you, you mean, like, it's somebody who, like, has a like, pedigree, like, gets to be, like, to be an like, awesome boxer in his own back garden. Yes, so, that's off. You had to pay for that. You had some good points, Pete. Who did he box? He boxed quite a few lads, to be fair. He had the trilogy with uh, Brian Coleman, fourteen three times, to be fair. Daniel James. David Kayu, I believe that's on our blog already. Harry Andrews, Terry Roberts, Alan Gray, Kevin McCarthy. I'm sure the McCarthy's quite a big boxing family as well. I'm sure I've heard a few of them. It was first boy in Coleman, that was at the Gala of Baths. That was one of the was on about. Yeah. Uh, James Eyre, Danny Bell. Later on to fight Danny Bell for a wealth title. We've got a bit of that footage coming up soon for you folks. Spencer McCracken, another great boxing yeah. family, fought Spencer. Who else did we have fought you uh, Danny Bell, we'll go to the Danny Bell fight from here folks and we just zoom in and show some good footage of this awesome little scrap here. We're only going to go from the last round. We've got Pete talking at the end as well. We couldn't get him on the blog but we've got an awesome little interview for you to watch off the internet as well. You can also watch this on our boxing channel. So yeah, we'll just zoom into that folks. So, as I said, folks, we was going to watch the final round for the Midland uh, area welterweight title belt. This is uh, Pete fighting Danny Bell in the last round. Little treat for you all. It was watch. even about it, wasn't it? Yeah. No, Pete was one point down. Was he? You can find this actually on our boxing blog, folks. Oh, yeah, he was. He was. Because he'd lost the first half of the fight. It is a good fight. It shows up like a warrior. He actually was, wasn't he, Peter? And what you got to think, folks, this is 30 minutes at this pace. Well, 
Rich has been very aggressive. The opponent's not doing a lot of work again. See, you know, he could, he could have been told that he's won it and just keep him at bay. Yes. But it's not always a good thing to do. No, it's been very, very close. Oh, always a good right hand now. Good shot there from Danny Bob. Yeah, and a good left hook there. A lot of credit to themselves because oh. this has been 10 very hard threes. They've been at it from the first bell. But it's a great contest. We had a margin out there, yeah. Edie Peter, a great margin, yeah. Well, I think, to, to be fair... And he's on the back end uh, of Rutledge Round, where he actually put his work into you, what you know, from Logan. From 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 Look, his work, 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 right. He's showing more, he's doing more work, and he's showing that he wants to... Yeah, he's locked in this round. Have you watched this one from the beginning? Yes. It's a good pace all the way through, yeah. to be fair. And of course, you know, with the double by Nightingale, if he does win, yes. the more importantly, he'll be the Midlands area champion. It's close, though. See, he's certain, he's looked, he looks like he wants to win. That's the main thing, and that, that always catches the referee's eye. And if he gives it a draw, wouldn't it? Well, I, know, I, think it up, I, I wouldn't like to see a draw anyway. It was a good referee though, he was as well. And I think another cup's appeared underneath the right eye of Bell now. Look how clever boy Peter. But uh, fortunately for him, there's only 30 seconds of... Make it look like it's him, he's got his head. Oh, no. This is his oh, second scrap for it, Bell. Well, if he doesn't get it, I think this crowd will be pretty cross. No, I, I think the referee will give it to him. It's been a good crowd he was and, and again, he's probably run this by two points. Yeah, if you give Pete a 10 8 on this, now you've got from Ben for a 10 8, have you? Yeah. Well, I think so, yeah. I mean, the other guy really hasn't done much at all. He's just hanging on in there. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Go on, Peter. Oh, he looks out on his feet, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Look, look, he looks out on his feet. Yeah. Danny Bell, pretty, pretty down, badly damaged. I'm going eight for Bell and ten now for Nightingale. Oh, that's right. And I think that's where he's won it from. Okay, he's bashing him. Oh, that's right. Big, Big deck, Rock. Big deck, yeah. And Bradley, yeah. Bradley. Bradley. Be, there won't be too many points in this, but I think, see, from the... I'm pretty sure you see Adi Aldi soon as well, don't we? He's not a shoulder. He, he oh, yeah, he's an eight shoulders, yeah. He's very strong, isn't he? And hopefully, I think he'll be able to... He's big, he's... 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 He's Aid the face, aid. Aid the face. That's where I think swayed it. The big effort at the end. I think it was a clear two points in that last round. And that's what swayed. He's a gentleman as well, though. He's Peter. Look at that. That's how he feels. Fair play to you, Pete. Yeah, but he's a great lad, though. He's only winking. Well, Nigel, he was about to present the trophy there to Peter. I think he's on a high, isn't he? So Peter Nigel got a very good contest. Yeah, so we're going to get a word with Peter Nigel, and I think Graham Beecroft's there waiting anxiously to get him up the ringside. And uh, Peter, I'm sure, will be delighted to come down and give his... Uh, Worst of events here, but there's some pretty nasty damage on the face there of Danny Bell, by the way, at the end of that contest. Quite a bad cut between the eyes. Years ago, Steve, you used to get an area belt, didn't you? Yeah. Now it looks like a, yeah, a sculpted sculpted trophy. Absolutely. So, 
That big trophy you could keep on somebody who won it off you and drive it back to your back forever. Yeah. And you belt you do, don't you? Did you feel that he was getting on top early on? on the He's gone back to Belgium, hasn't he? Yeah. And you keep your belt there, obviously, yeah. you had a new one for the next fight. Yeah. And then, uh, on the mid-shot start, you both wanted it all that you needed. You had to dig really deep, and you got into a rhythm, didn't you, in the later rounds? Yeah. But, I'll just, oh, you're not all, no. Oh. Of a black hood, you know, he's, oh. Did you feel that you could have a knock him down? He was a strong lad and you hit him with some good punches and put him back. You're just going to bang on him, Peter. He has got a bomb on him. He's a good lad. 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 He's a good what do you think of that one? I thought he was awesome, Oddie. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah, back towards was... the end, the grabbing, the ducking in, making it look like he was holding. Over cleverness, over cleverness. He was okay, he like his head in there, yeah, making it, yeah. That's what he said. It was but like Bergen and McGraw, if anyone wants to watch boxing, this was. from the beginning, it is on uh, Jonah's boxing block, Pete Nightingale. And it shows, a, and, and shows an engine. Yeah. An absolute she, engine. An absolute engine. Is and that's all the training you. and dedication, obviously. Putting it's that, yeah, for 10 rooms. To, 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 to like have that energy and that to, to go, yeah, for 10 minutes, like half an hour, like when you say it. Half said, an hour boxing. It was always like, first in the gym, always like fitness, yeah. hang on, he, kept that in. Every single time he went out on a run, I hadn't gone off way and he was running back in the gym. That's how fit Peter was. And, <laughs> and, 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 and it also shows us how lazy I was. <laughs> but uh, yeah, too, uh, yeah, when he come down to like the training, me, 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 and uh, and for like I went, give us like different ends, like all me for training, Peter there for training. But when he comes to having the fight in the bottle, we was both like, you know, at the same level, you know what I mean. But I was just lazy, and anyway, we ain't talking about me, I'm really sweet again. We've had enough of me and more laziness. <laughs> so, obviously, Pete's boxing record was just going through there, and uh, Danny Bell fight was well exciting, and uh, we had uh, Lee Bird. Uh, Brian Coleman, he fought him three times, so we had a try energy yeah, with Brian Coleman. Another tough lad, he comes to try and take that little belt off, a uh, little title, he wore more belt there, it's a trophy. It's a trophy, yeah, yeah. Uh, then they had one of his toughest fights, remember his toughest fights, Jamie Moore? Yeah. yeah well, he's that a tough one, kid. Jamie Moore went on to win numerous uh, yeah. titles, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. He's a good boxer, Jamie Moore was. was. Very, very tough kid. He shows him. again, yeah, yeah, a dream like he, a dream like he, like, like, yeah, yeah, it was actually like, in the ring with. Oh, Pete was in there. You mentioned, yeah, 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 he was some of the best. What did you tell, you tell uh, us? Junior Wheater, uh, um, yeah. um, uh, Junior Wheater. Remember you said he was in the 101 greatest knockouts? Yeah. Right? Being knocked out and knocking yeah, somebody and knocking else. Out, yeah, so. yeah. He's in there to always, Pete, Reese. And who else did we have there? Uh, Fulton Bay, William Webster, Paul Doyer, Nick Hall. That was the end of his career. So, not bad, really. He had 11 wins, 14 losses, 3 draws. But well, he did put his heart and soul into it, and I uh, hope he'll give you a good count, piece. And uh, he also went on later to fight on one of South Paul's cards, so he never give up boxing. Yeah. And he said, I know he still trains regularly now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He keeps his fitness up. We'll probably see him again in the ring. But if you yeah, haven't seen yeah, the South Paul fight, folks. That very much. Didn't think we've uh, ever beat him, if we knocked him out. Uh, yeah. What's his name? He's not just. Um, it was it uh, the boxing last year, looking at Peter. Didn't yeah, it's on the South Pole channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll put that link below if anybody wants to watch that. But uh, we'll oh, yeah, that George, uh, Georgie Summer, what is George Smith? Was George it? Smith, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, he had a fight with DT, yeah, like last year, I wouldn't beat him. Yeah, that, that was uh, uh, definitely on South Pole's channel. I uh, but Jimmy him. Gold's, um, on, 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 shows, on, he? I think I'm sure Aaron Cope or somebody's definitely put it on him. Yeah, but there's definitely a South Pole boxing one on there. If anybody hasn't seen that, if you wait, I'll get a link and I'll put it on underneath this documentary anyway for you all to see. Uh, I did do a pre-recording of Jace, but uh, it should have gone on before Pete, but we decided to put Pete on first. So now, as when Jason starts, you will really hear say when you talk about Pete, but yeah, we've already done the Pete bit, so we are going to flip to Jace now. 
So we're just going to put our pre-recorded bit on and then we'll jump back straight back on live, folks. Yeah, so, right, as I said, folks, we're going to be uh, talking about Jason, the younger one of the Nightingales here. And what would you say is in that picture there, Phil? I'd say Jason there has got to be, has got to be 14 at least because of uh, one of the best of them, like the Midlands best. Plus, on the photograph as well, with the other boxes. I'd say he's about like 14 or 15 on there. Yeah, easy, easy, Jason. And um, what we say, he walked into the gym between 10 and 11? Yeah, man, he walked into the gym at the age of 10 and 11. Like, he was really tired then. He really was, yeah, Jason, really tired then. But he was proper fast, fast punches. His, his hands was like bloody lightning. But, um, yeah, uh, do you mean, um, uh, exactly the same as all of us. Yeah, we've been, every month we've been to the gym, he was in the ring, he had the medical. But uh, Jason, Jason was a very good boxer. He was like um, very um, accurate, and very sharp, and uh, like like, like uh, yeah, yeah, with him, Jason, I actually knew for as soon as he walked in the gym, I thought, was hanging on here. Yeah, we got sorted. So it was good. I mean, he, he loved, he loved so he put his road work in plenty of running. Plenty yeah, of man, he was like uh, uh, um, even Peter was like proper into the fitness. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, do you mean like, oh, I can only talk about like myself because I was like the oldest one in the gym. I was but, just going to say, so you were uh, the dosser. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, but because I was like the dosser, I could always see like yeah, the levels are going up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and uh, yeah, 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 with me by Jason, he was just, just uh, him. Well, all of them really, yeah, was like. Did you watch the Jason fight many times? Yes, yes, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Because, um, uh, yeah, when I packed him, I packed him and Jason had got to have been there easy like, easy three years when, 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 when my car packed him. He, he got to be there easy three years, Jason. Three or four years, so he probably had a what? Well, easy three. So he's been fighting in the days of Ponderosa, so the goal of Oh, no, he was a boxing of Ponderosa, Jason. He was like, too young. But he, um, he, he was at the goal of Afs. He was at the South Club at the Eve. He had to box there. And, um, Beskett. Was the boxing of Beskett then as well? No, no, no. no, no. So uh, I went Beskett, to a few shows Beskett. Yeah, yeah, we'd have... Uh, um, and Gala of Baths with uh, Ponderosa um, at the Social Club. Oh, Hill Top Social there. Club. That was always cheap to get in the idea. Yeah. Yeah, Hill Top Social there. Club as well was another one. And, um, and uh, but uh, yeah, do you mean, yeah, he, 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 like, he was everywhere, like all, 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 all like, um, um, I wanted to be boxed. But um, I watched uh, Jason box, like, like, about, and got to have been about, 20, about 25 times because, like, as a kid, Oh, I mean, like I was always out every night at the boxing show. Anyway, you know, I mean, I could always like, tell them my mum was boxing, even though I wasn't, just so I could get like, those type of shows. So yeah, I could watch them all fight. Like, but um, yeah, um, yeah. How uh, like, many amateur fights did we have written down for? Um, Jason, Jason had had ninety-eight fights, and he says he won eighteen. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fantastic record. Fantastic. Then. fantastic did record. Did you give us any of the names of the tough kids or anything you fought? No, no, no. He, he, uh, he. Uh, no, we haven't had any names of him, but. Uh, in that time, he did. Uh, um, he, uh, he, he had a uh, one. Uh, he he um, out, um, out of his eighty wins. He had had uh, two uh, junior um, AB easy one uh, titles, and he got to the finals of the schoolboys, and he actually boxed it, um, England uh, on, on five occasions. On five occasions, he yeah. boxed for England. Yeah, when he boxed for England. So on that's five an occasions. achievement in yourself. Well done, Jace. So give him one. Fifth England boxer now. Yeah. From, from the no six, no six. We had five from round there. No, we haven't had Andrew Lester on yet. So you might pick England boxer. So from a small area, that's five we've already met. We've all boxed. Lennon's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, we've had Andy, but he of uh, one. Yeah, do you, do you look at boxer England. He did. Um, he did that. So where is it? Yeah, he's six. That's six. Yeah. I'm surprised how many people around here local box for England. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing, amazing. Oh, Almost every one of us like, walking went to his gym. But we've got a little ten mile radius here, probably. No, it's probably eight. Yeah, Matt Tipton, four mile, three mile. Yeah, and there's other boxes here. We have yeah, 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 so actually come, come on. on as well. We've got yeah. all four for England too. All four for England. So I just wonder how many other clubs out there, how many of their forces actually get to that England level. Get in touch with us. Send us some information over. Um, we do a little blog for you as well. It's, it's an amazing achievement in itself, just going to box for England. And uh, as Phil was saying, Jace, uh, what was it, 80, 80 
wins. 80 wins, 80, 98. And we know he's got a fault. Some else of them back in the day, I bet some of them went on to be else old names. Yes, and it was only because, uh, yeah, we've got Jason as well. He, 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 he had um, on his wrist, you mean, like, you mean, like his wrist, always got used to, like, you mean, like, that, like, like, like Injuries. Um, like injuries, yeah. Really, really, like, really, like, And Joe, like, I've actually put it down to his accuracy. It's hitting hard, accurate. Joe, so, Joe, so, yeah, when you're accurate and you hit that little like, accurate punch, that's a lot. Like, so, yeah, you're hitting it, hitting it hard. So, yeah, you're feeling that on your own nature, really. So, yeah, and, um, yeah, but she's, like, um, accuracy, I think. Of course, I'm, um, What was yeah. the gloves quality back then? The there wasn't a good, there wasn't a good, uh, but, uh, so terrible. yeah, yeah, but you, 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 you'd like, you'd like, um, a set of gloves for like your club, and you'd probably have them here for years, yeah. you'd have them for years, like, and you know, that's how you go, where we were, like, you get, get to like, and you mean, I'd be like, uh, on a show, like, on a Monday night, and then, like, on Tuesday, was no regulations, show. like, Adidas or Green, or with the Docs or anything no, like no, that, no, 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 it was a like, red or blue, that was it, that was red it. or blue, yeah, you are bad, yeah, just like a white class or something, like, yeah, twelve ounces. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, uh, like, um, um, it was eight ounces, I think. Eight ounces. Eight ounces for the kids. So uh, six like ounces and that as well. Yeah, we all like smaller. Them, then, to be fair. And now, and plus there was a there was like on a thin side as well, like the gloves was. And plus, like uh, yeah, back in the day, yeah, you didn't wear like any bandages or nothing like uh, you know wraps or no, 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 yeah, nothing like that. Like uh, like a kids' day anyway. So, but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, with Jason like. His injuries, I put it down to like how accurate he was with his punches. Accurate he was with his punches that he like. I mean, like if he's eating them hard, that's and then feeling tired, yeah, 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 Jonah's boxing blog, and you'll also find the gorgeous Phil Jones. So you'll, you'll find yeah, Jonah up on uh, the old Instagram now. And I'm sure I think he's you're on Twitter as well now, Phil. No, not yet, but will be. He'll be on Twitter and we'll have long before he's on TikTok and Insta showing us all his big uh, fitness plans. Yes, so get ready to I've got some weight. get ready to join Phil on his uh, own YouTube channel for his uh, Phil's fitness and um, follow his journey. And uh, yeah, and also that'll be on his Instagram and on his uh, Snapchat and everything else, wherever we can get him on. We're going to make him a bit of an else old man somewhere along the line. <laughs> Instead of being the most wanted for a change, we can <laughs> be the most viewed. So if we can get that, it'd be amazing. So anybody watching any of these blogs, please try and share them, like, subscribe. If you've got any boxer you want to put forward for us to come on, give me a fair shout, man. We don't mind. A few boxes for Wensbury, Tipton, Warsaw, as long as you're local. The Lodge, yeah, we'd like to get those of you lads back from the Lodge on here as well, get some joint blogs and everything on. Uh, and obviously, you all know Pete and Jace, who we're doing today. Well, you probably know everybody who's on our blogs, to be fair, and who's going to be on in the future. So, yeah, all to, all together. It's only our thanks to you lot for doing it all with Thank us. Thank you all. So, uh, as we were saying about Jace, Will, he's uh, 80 wins, Travelled all around the UK just like you yourself. Yeah. Have you been doing to Crystal Palace for his England debut? Yes, uh, yes. Um, um, he would have gone there against Crystal Palace 100%. You know, if you're boxing for England, you know. Um, uh, who was the trainer then back when we then for him then? Who would have uh, took him? Uh, yeah, but um, just, 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 so, 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 I mean, so, so, he would have actually done that like five times, and Jason would have. But yet to be, like, like, like I'm five times yet to fight for England. You have, um, like, I'm a Crystal Palace with you, and just like... Was the, that the, just the, like the five months then, so was that over, like, a few years? That, that, uh, that, 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 like, would have been over, uh, over five events, over, like, 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 say, over the years. Do you know when, like, um, they have, um, say, um... Uh, England versus, like, say, Ireland or England, England versus Wales, Wales or that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, um, they, um, on the same day, they ate. So, he would have had to go there, like, on separate occasions. So, but, on them separate occasions, it seemed like, like, just, just another two lads. Oh, so they've been, like, three like, lads, all picked up, yeah. Yeah, that's it, but they have different weights, all similar weights. No, no, all, all, weights. all, yeah, all, they, they, they have, um, all different weights, but out of all, all the different weights, I picked three, yeah, you have to go to Crystal Palace. Yeah. 
and then and then and then for yeah, the night I'm the one going to take the one. So uh, yeah, 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 good people on four times. He's got to be a top like actually says he, he needs help. Yeah, and he does. It speaks for itself. One achievement for Jace. Four times. Boxing for England. Boxing for his club. And he won four. And won four. And won four. Yeah. So that's an, another achievement. Uh, all I can say is, look, congratulations, Jace. Congratulations, yes, congratulations for us. And uh, we wish we had some of your footage. And if we can get our hands on you, I'll bet you've got some DVDs stashed away somewhere. We can actually do another blog and bang them on there for you. So if anybody has any? Yeah, please get in touch. If we get any footage of uh, Young Nightingale here boxing, I'm sorry, but there's some VHS is knocking about. I can convert them, so if you can get them to me, I'll give them you back in the same condition on the left. And we're going to go over now onto Pete's pro debut. Let me show you a bit of Pete's foil footage, because we've not really got a lot on Jace. But follow us on our social media page, because you're going to bombard it with all the programs and all the, all the pictures and everything they've sent over for us, and give them a lot of good dedication. Nice one, folks. Thank you. Right, folks, so you just watched that little clip that we've done on Jace. So we've done a little bit on Pete. Uh, just got a little few things uh, we just want to mention on Jace. He won various ADA. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we got recognised yeah. by the what, newspaper, Jonah. Uh, the Star. The Star. Sent yeah, him a nice letter. Just show that up for the camera, bring it in so they can just have a little look at that. Look at that, folks. You had letters from the camp, uh, was it the mayor? It was the national titles. The national uh, titles, schoolboy titles, to be fair. Jason won quite a bit more than we actually thought, you now we've been going through some of the stuff. Obviously, Phil's going to reload all the programmes and everything up. We hope you've both really enjoyed this. Uh, the brothers both want to dedicate this, I'll just leave that to Phil. Yeah, um, I would hear you to... Um, 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 the um, other brother, um, not of Darren Nightingale, um, he sadly passed away um, a few years back. And uh, yeah, but um, do you mean like uh, being a gym like who's more like my age yet? But uh, do you know, he's an awesome lad, a tough kid, proper like Elvis, like always had the uh, and do you know, he's the handsome lad actually, yeah, to be fair, he was a uh, handsome dude, he was, but um, yeah, but uh, and you know, like he was always out for like our house as a kid. Do you mean, do you know, like you call out my like Francis, but like you call her, yeah, because, because he was one of the tips and whatever, Mrs. Francis's. You know, oh, 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 yeah, Mrs. Francis's. And they go, um, yeah, it's bloody Francis, Darren. And they go, he go oh, oh, they're Mrs. Francis's. And that was it, Mrs. Francis. But, um, yeah, they're awesome lad, he was, yeah. Yeah, a very good lad. Um, do, do, you mean, do you mean, like, he wasn't on on the level like a Peter and Jason, but he had, but he had the same art. You mean like a girl like a picture of you all, all together in the gym? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's on there. He's, um, uh, yeah, but Joe, do you mean like he was actually like on a few? Um, do you mean not like of all of us like in the gym? Do you mean like he's like, um, on a few of them? But he was actually like Peter, like old school, upright, but, 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 but like he was heavier than Peter. You mean like, do you mean like, but, do you mean like he wasn't heavier because of the, but like if they'd been on the same age? He would have always been heavy and pleased because I think he's heavy and bound up. But uh, coming towards the end of this, folks, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. Obviously, we haven't had Peter and Jace in with us, so we've done a little magic, put some little various bits and bobs together. We've done our see. best for you, lads. So I hope you all enjoy it. If anybody else has got clips and videos and that you don't want to come on, I can do something for you. Please get in touch with me or Phil. And uh, see what any clips of Jason, if you've got anything, or yeah. Peter. Don't forget to watch this to the end, because there's a little dedication video at the end as well, folks. Yeah, yeah, for Darren. Sorry for the little delay on us getting back on, but we are going to be on a lot more now, a lot more and a uh, lot more stuff coming up, loads of exciting interviews coming up. Awesome boxes to be interviewed. Interview. Just want to thank you all again for following me and Phil. Well, following you all, because without all you boxes, as you all know, none of this would be available. And see you all soon, folks. Thank you. Thank you.